Alright, so car modding is done. And now it's time to do what exactly? Oh yeah, meet Zoe, I think. So <clears throat> let's go to meet Zoe. Oh, this dude just hit me! Where'd he go? This dude had a Z. And he just hit me. Where'd he go? Ooh, oh, wait, 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 what car is that? What car is that? Gotta see what this car is, hold on. Try not to scratch my new paint. Ooh, that is a... That is a nice looking car. I have no idea what that is, but uh, it has Mustang lights with a... Uh, yeah, with a weird body, but okay. So somebody crashed their car here. <gasps> ramp. Okay, okay, so we gotta go for the ramp. Everything else can wait. <clears throat> gotta build up speed, so let's uh... Let's go up here. Ooh, don't hit me, bro. That's pretty cool. So I guess I, I, you do see a lot of people that are, you know, playing the beta. That's pretty cool. All right, let's do this. I do have nitrous, so I guess the uh, starter tuner kit will hook me up with a little bit of nitrous. Move out of the way. Oh, I should have hit him just to see if I could. Here we go. Do it. Yeah. Make it, make it, make it. Ah. Oh did not make it oh of course because I forgot to use nitrous duh I forgot to use the extra horsepower that I had all right I don't think I can get out this way I wonder if I'm stuck here that would be pretty funny but um man this car takes it takes a very long time to uh to start up from a stop from a standstill um I'm hoping this is the... Nope. Can I drive up the rubble? I repeat, can I drive up the rubble? Okay. So we might be stuck. Well, no, no, no. Hold on. Um... Wow, those rocks are very square-shaped. I don't know if you guys can see that. Make it over, make it over, make it over. Come on. There we go. See, you don't need no off-roading car. I got this, son. Let's do it. Alright, so first things first. Uh, like we were going to do earlier. Meet Zoe. <clears throat> and Zoe is... Driving test. I don't know if that's where she is. Um, it's weird. Okay, so quick snap. Okay, wow, that's very helpful. It just goes to the next waypoint. Or next thing on the map. That's awesome. Alright, um... Well, this is, uh, blinking, so I guess I have to take my driving test, so, you know what, let's fast travel, let's not waste any time, let's go ahead and fast travel there right now. <clears throat> Alright, meet Zoe, oh, I guess this is where we're supposed to go. Back off, I'm coming. That's what she said. Oh, snap! Alright, uh, solo, yes, solo. You can take the driving test co-op? Wow. Normal difficulty and recommended car level 11. Perfect. I am actually at a normal driver level. Oh snap, there's a 370. I don't know if that's um. Oh, that's her. Okay, okay. I thought it was another person, you know, playing in the world. That would be pretty cool. Be Zoe. Oh, come on, I gotta be Zoe in a race. Alright, you know what? I just gotta believe in the uh, the heart of the flames on my car. And I'll definitely be able to beat her. Let's go. You see these flames, Zoe? Yeah. That's, uh, that's what's making me beat you. Right there. Look at that. My car's faster. Simply because I got the flames. Should've put the flames on. Should've put the flames on. Alright, so... Breaking and drifting seems like it's helping a little bit. I wish it had, uh, waypoints. Instead of just these, uh... Just these, um... What do you call them? Arrows. At the end of the street. But then again, I guess that means you just go to the end of the street, just keep going straight until you get to the end, and you'll see the arrows. Eh, makes sense, I guess, but uh, waypoint would have been cool. Or waypoint marker thingy. Half the FBI in his pocket? Damn, I wonder where his car is if he can afford half the FBI. Either that or the FBI must not cost much. Alright, four second lead. Let's try to keep that up. 
<clears throat> I actually should be paying more attention to the story because I have no idea what I'm doing or where I'm going or you know what's going on in the story. But then again, it doesn't matter simply because uh, since this is a technical beta, none of the um, none of this part is going to carry over to the actual full game. So it doesn't really matter how far you get in this game in the beta. When you get to the actual game, it's uh, yeah, you're gonna have to be starting over. So I'm pretty much gonna be seeing this, and I'm sure if you guys are picking it up, you'll be seeing this as well. Um, also, if you guys did not get invited to, the wow, I guess I can't run over those poles. Oh, I hope she's not beating me. That, that's gonna suck because and things right there. You know what? Nitrous time. Let's do it. Look at that boost. Look at that extra 200 horsepower coming in. Yeah, that's uh. That's a big part of why I won. The flames and the nitrous, you know, combo. Damn, you can't beat that. But yeah, like I was saying, uh, <clears throat> if you guys are, uh, if you did not get invited to the beta, but then again, the beta only lasts for three more days. Today's uh, October 1st, and the beta ends on uh, October 4th. So if you didn't get, in, if you don't get invited to the beta until then, there's a, uh, uh, it's kind of pointless. What is this level car? Equip, equip what part? Oh, ECU. Okay. Sure, why not equip it, since I don't have an ECU anyway. Well, I mean, I do have an ECU, but not an aftermarket one. Alright, ranking, friend leaderboard, overall leaderboard. I am in 8,000 in fourth place. Wow. Okay, uh, we'll just go ahead and continue. But yeah, like I was saying, so uh, if you don't get invited to the beta before the 4th of October, 2014, okay, you and uh, in here. if you haven't pre-ordered the game, because if you pre-ordered the game, you actually get a beta code. So if you haven't done either of those, or if neither one of those has happened, um, you might as well just sit this beta out. I mean, they might do a part two of the beta, you know, and invite more people. I don't know yet. So uh, we'll see. But as far as this is concerned, um, you know, the beta ends on the 4th, so if you get it before then for the PS4, definitely try it out. Uh, there's no word yet on the uh, Xbox One. Uh, yeah, that's a nice house, man. That's a, so is that a, no, it's a chalkboard. I was about to say, it looks, that's a nice freaking, you know, cinema screen. Damn. The 510 Motor Club. All right, the 510 Motor Club. What started as an illegal street racing club has over the last. Five She'll call it the 50 Motor, motor Club because they're working with the cops. Ha ha ha. Chapters in every state. I right, see so chapters in every state. Boosted cars, contraband. In short, Guns. Oh, I wonder if I get to some smuggle some stuff. Go undercover, maybe? For the 510, FBI smuggle some stuff. That would be pretty cool. But then again, these both these guys know me, so... It would, uh... It would kind of be hard to do. Shit, huh? Coburn provides introductions and protection from law enforcement, while Shiv does the wet work. The okay. The 510s denote rank with tattoos. Shiv's the king, the V8. Ooh, V8. Nice. Infiltrate the white, the 510 Motor Club. Who would have seen that twist coming? M. Night Shyamalama Ding Dong could not predict that. That was, that was a crazy twist. Alright, so we basically start from the bottom, race our way up until we get to him, and then from there we get to a... a, a don't know what we're gonna do, but okay. The more perks. You can equip. perks. Board. Okay. You'll find one like in every dealer in Tuna. The board lets you manage your cars. Manage and cars their and specs. specs. Okay. Makes sense. Makes sense. It also gives you quick access to all the dealers and tuners in the world. Hmm. Okay. Access to all the tuners in the world. Nice. In your HQ right. workshop, you can install parts you've bought <clears> on a tuner, as well as those you've won by completing missions. It's essential to install the best parts you have to improve your ride's car level and performance. You can also customize your ride with paints, decals, and cosmetic parts. Any damage you sustain can also be repaired in the workshop. Okay. I wonder if the damage is only cosmetic or if it's um <clears throat> if it uh hinders your car's performance. Cause most games are just uh, you know, look look wise damage. Cosmetic damage, so but then again, I guess they don't want to make it performance damage because then you know, if you drive like a maniac, you're you know you're pretty much screwing yourself out of the race. So, makes sense. All right, let's go. <clears throat> Workshop, collection, perks. Ooh, let's see perks. We haven't checked this out yet. Ooh, one point to increase your car's braking. Two points to increase your car's braking. Three. Okay, so that's what it is. Um. 
This is for... Ooh, 2% two per, two chance. Don't care about that. 1% off the cost of all street parts. No, don't need that. 2% more XP. And... I'm not sure if that's crew credits or if that's uh, bucks. Or if that's even per action. I don't know what that is. Co-op bonus. Ooh, that, that would be helpful if I'm playing co-op. I want to add one perk. How many perks do I have? Buy one perk point. For 2,000 crew credits? Buy a perk point? You know what? I have 210,000 210, crew points. Let's spend two grand. Why not? Oh, I, that actually did take crew credits. Okay. Buy one more perk. You know what? Since this is the beta, let's go all out. Let's do this. I don't know if buying a different... Um, for, you know, for different... Uh, perks, I guess, categories. Per points left, six out of six. I don't think I'm gonna be playing uh, co-op, so I'll leave that one alone. But um, let's buy a, a couple more. There we go. Nice. Okay. So how do I um add one point to this perk? Yes. How many points? How many perk points do I have? I, I don't know where I can see that. Let's add another one. Three percent increase to your car's braking. Why not? You know what? Let's max this out. Why not? Let's go ahead and max this out. <clears throat> five percent car, five percent braking. All right. Um, I don't want to do the percent chance. I don't care about that. Um, all street parts. That would be helpful. Sure. Oh, per points left, 4 out of 11, there you go. Okay, so you can only hold 11. Alright, you know what, let's uh, max this out. 8, you know what, let's buy one more perk. And let's max this out, why not? 10%, nice. Um, let's buy a couple more. Apply it, there we go. And buy one more, and apply it. I actually don't know if you're gonna start out with 210,000 crew points because that seems like a that seems like a lot. So we'll see. And um, you know what? Let's buy five more. Three, four, five. Let's max this out as well. Why not? Simply because I can. There we go. 10% chance of two perk points at level up. I don't know how many times I'm gonna level up, but you know, it is what it is. <clears throat> Alright, so there we go. So I went from 210 to 172,000. Completely worth it. That extra XP and those extra, you know, uh, bucks and the money off parts, that's that's going to be helpful. Progression. Let's see how progressed I am. Zoe. I don't know what this is. Oh, I don't want to do that. Okay, so I guess these are all, um, cuts. Oh, cutscenes. It says it right there at the top. Oh, <clears throat> Hidden car. Dude, I want to know where this hidden car is. I really want to know. Installation in progress. You have completed the crew's prologue. Please wait until installation is complete. So I can't even leave. Can I really not leave? <laughs> um, okay, so I, I guess I can't leave. Um, so I guess this is going to be the end of part four. Uh, we'll be back soon, hopefully, because I don't know how fast this is going. But uh, we'll see. So that's it.